Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 7th through the 13th. We're just going to see what comes up, okay? So, you know, the timing is still fluid. What do we have for Aries? I think we have a tractor going by. Pretty sure. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Now this is about love, self-love. This is the heart chakra. So you, there may be something going on with your heart this week. You may be feeling some sort of heartache. You need to look within. You need to work on healing your heart. Okay? This is about self-love. Okay? That is, the, that is about healing your heart. You're probably going to be... Uh, you know, the heart is associated with your emotions. It may be an emotional week for you as well, but there is something heart related and it could have to be with self-love because this card is about self-love. It's about loving yourself and healing your heart. What do we have? What do we have for Aries for the week ahead? Self-love. Heart healing. Focusing on your heart. Angels are around you. Probably trying to help you heal your heart. Patience. Now this is the temperance card. Now temperance is comes after death. This comes after death. This is healing. This is about managing your feelings. Moderation is needed. And when you heal, it takes time. So it's time to heal your heart. In some way. This is growth. As you can see, there's been a seed. Now we have a blossom. This is a change and a renewal after death. You know, what I just heard was, and I don't know all the words, was the rose, the song, the rose. It's like the, the seed, and, and that's not a rose. I know it's not a rose, but that's what I just heard. I can't, I don't know all the words, but we're, we're going to tag that song underneath here. It's the rose. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I don't know all the words, but it's about the seed that in the spring, in the spring, the seed will grow or something like that. Anyhow, um, I'm going to wish that I could play it right now. Anyway, somehow that song, The Rose. So, um, something in the spring. This is the, the temperance card is self-discipline to change. This is allowing and accepting an ending. It is because this comes after the death card. Now you have to heal. You have to allow and accept that it's time to heal. Everything happens for a purpose. You may need to blend to create harmony right now. Give yourself time. You need time. It's about, it's time. It's time for you to heal your heart. Whatever that means to you. What do we have for Aries?
angels are definitely around. There is some sort of universal protection right now. You may be, be being guided. Okay, you may be, be guided down a new path with that. Because temperance is, it's a path. Okay, it's the journey of life taking you down the higher path. You are on the right path. Keep going. And you're going to see that. You are going to see that you're on the right path. All is well. There's some sort of angels around you. Hills. Obstacles to overcome. Ear. Good news. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. I know that you're protected. I can, I can feel that. Tulip, great passion. There is definitely some sort of protection here. I know that there is. I can feel it. Anyhow, um, but there is some obstacles that need to be overcome. And it may be impatience. It may be, maybe there's some heart issues. Maybe it's self-love. Do you know it's really hard to love yourself? Especially when something is ended and you may feel guilty. So you have to... Go with the flow. Just go for, go with the flow. Don't fight this change. There is some sort of change that is happening. Don't fight it. Interesting. So what do we have for Aries? Good news is coming. You are going to be guided in some way. Guided down the higher path. This is a higher path to healing. Spiritual evolvement as well. You're evolving spiritually. Put it that way. Knight of Pentacles. Reverse the star card. Now this is a card of hope. It's a card of inspiration. Prayers. Heaven. Protection. This Knight of Pentacles reversed is unhealthy. Inflexible. Uh, something could happen fast as well. There's been a delay, but it feels like the delay is just about over. You know, because this is reverse. I feel like there's been some sort of delay. I think that you have been tested. Now there's some sort of help arriving. And this is, I feel like there is, I mean, this is help arriving after the tower falls. Because this comes after the tower. This is unexpected help, but and this is a blessing in disguise. I, interesting. It's like a wish is being granted. Now, but the Knight of Pentacles reversed is a dropout. It's it's uh, unhealthy, not qualified, no long term plan. Uh, it could be ha something happening fast as well. Losing stability. Giving up. Somebody may be giving up. They're not or they're not being practical. The star card is a card of healing and hope. There is hope. There is hope for renewal. There is the, that's this that's there's protection here. You are definitely being protected. Uh you're gonna be guided. That's a guiding light. Anyway, let's get the rest of these cards. It's, this is like a dead end, okay? This is the overall, this is, this is you and another person, this reading I'm doing for this week. This is something, this is a dead end. There's something blocking you from achieving your goals. And there's something happening that is unplanned. There's a need to focus I feel like uh, you've probably been been in a place of I don't know what you're. This is your energy. The middle one is you. So you're protected. You're being guided. Whoever you're dealing with may be uh, something to do with money. They may be invested in your money. Let's get the rest of these cards. Yeah, it looks like somebody's walking away with this Eight of Cups. The overall energy is a dead end. Okay, it's a dead end. This is over. This is like, 
extremely fed up, exhausted, worn out. Okay, the Four of Swords reversed extremely. Can't do this anymore. I think that you may be feeling frustrated. That's the overall energy of the week. Need need to heal. I think that you need a time. You need time to heal. You may need time to take a break. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, you there could probably be some fighting. There's probably some sort of hostilities. I feel like who, you may be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel like whoever you're dealing with is very, very stubborn. They want to win at all costs. They won't, they won't back down on their views. They're very, very, very stubborn, whoever you're dealing with. is They're very hard to deal with because you can't reason with this person. This person is very arrogant, whoever you are dealing with. And I feel like you are... Uh, you're like, I can't, I don't, you, you may feel confused. You may feel confused as to why this person has to win all the time. I feel like they're causing you, they're causing you some sort of stress. You're dealing with somebody that is very much, uh, it feels like they need your money. They need your, they, whatever. If you have some sort of money that you can provide for them, they want your money. They want you, they want what, they, they it's like they can't. They can't get their own, so they need yours. I feel like you definitely need to be careful because you are involved with somebody that um, you really can't negotiate with. It feels like you're with a bully. And they, whoever this bully is, they, it's like a martyr. This is, this is a bully. It's a martyr. It's somebody that um, will not budge on what the way that they think things should be. And it's, it's maddening. I think it's maddening. So I think Aries that whoever you are dealing with um, is trying to push you away. They, they're they trying to push you away. They don't care. Whoever you're dealing with uh, is a loser. I think you're, I'm sorry. I think you're, I mean, I think you're dealing with somebody that's a loser. This is somebody that is lazy. Uh, this person is very greedy. Um... They're inflexible. You're dealing with somebody that is just inflexible. And I think that it's really, really causing you a lot of stress. This person that you are dealing with is obsessed with control. And I feel like you are hoping that things are going to get better. You're hoping, you're, but you're letting this person lead you in any direction just because you don't want to fight with them. I feel like you're really unhappy with the current circumstances. I feel like you're going to, you know, or you're being guided to walk away. You're being guided to walk away from this person that, you know, uh, is blocking you from happiness. Okay, I feel like you are being blocked. I think that they, they block your every move. Okay, whoever you're dealing with is very selfish, put it that way. I feel like um, you are definitely being guided. It's like God is giving you an opportunity, right? It's, but you're not seeing it because this person has manipulated you to the point where you can't see. You can't even see what they're doing. You can't. And I'm sorry, Aries. I feel like um, you have been led. You have been led astray by somebody. You have allowed it. I feel like uh, you're missing an opportunity. You are missing an opportunity by letting this person control you. You've got somebody controlling you. You absolutely do. And I feel like this is a very stressful situation. I feel like you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your discipline to take action. You have another offer here. God is offering you heaven. Okay. These, they, I'm telling you why. You have another opportunity here that you, you are missing. You are missing another opportunity because of, I don't know what it, what it is. Maybe it's because you may be holding on to something that is materialistic. I'm not sure. But it, it feels like you need to take action. You need to turn your back on holding on to things that are uh, not solid, not stable. You know, I feel like I feel like you need to take action. I feel like you are blocking your own success. It's like there's a new path for you. It's like they've laid it out, and all you have to do is walk down it. And I think that you have been delaying. You have been you've been in a period of stagnation. Probably maybe because you were fearful. I'm not sure. Or this person, whoever you are dealing with, 
uh, filled you up. They filled you up with a bunch of crap. This is somebody that is very cunning. Very, very, very cunning. Um, they belittle. And they, this is a master manipulator. You are dealing with somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. They have no moral conscience. None. As long as they win, that's all that matters. I feel as though that's why we have that star card. That's his help arriving, trying to, trying to um, guide you out of this desperate situation. My advice is to is to look up. Look up. There's an opportunity waiting for you. Stop closing your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. The overall energy is extremely exhausted, fed up, frustrated. You're being blocked. You're blocking a new path by not opening your eyes, by not being flexible, by allowing this person to control you. I, I, you know, some of you have lost sight of your goal. And I think you've lost sight of your goal. Maybe it's because of money. Or things. Anyhow, Aries, I do see that you are going to be taking action. You have been missing an opportunity for love. Dealing with somebody that is very, very tricky. You are dealing with somebody that is very cunning. They have manipulated you, used you. It feels like somebody has used you. And I feel like you are thinking about walking away. And I think you are going to be presented or you have been presented with an opportunity that you have missed because this other person was taking up so much of your time. I do see you saying goodbye. I feel like you are, are very disappointed and I feel like the time is now. The time is now to leave or to say goodbye or to say, you know what? I don't want, I don't want to do this anymore. You have been missing an opportunity. For big love. I'm not kidding. And you've been missing this opportunity because you have to let go of the one that is using you. Somebody's using you. Somebody that is irresponsible. Somebody that has no long-term plan. Somebody that doesn't have any money. Somebody that doesn't work very much. That is unemployed. That may do things illegally, you know. Somebody's, it could be an ex. It could be the person you're with now. There is somebody here that is using you. And you've had, you've been ignorant to it. But I think deep down, you know better. I do. I feel as though this week you are going to be taking action. I do. I think you're going to take action. I think you're going to make a decision. Okay? This is a decision maker. And this is deciding to leave all that emotional disappointment behind. Looking for something more. Looking for wish fulfillment. I think you're going to be heading into, you know, down a new path. Put it that way. I don't think it's going to be easy by any means. But there's an opportunity for love. And I know that you see it. You're going to see it. It's going to be presented to you. You know, maybe you're going to see it in a dream or in the middle of the night or early morning hours or something like that. It's like you're guided towards a new opportunity for love that you have been... Uh, neglecting or you have been trying not to go down that path because I don't know why why have you been trying not to go down that path because starting over sucks that's why 
Who wants to start over? Who wants to start it? Start, you know, if you say this is about a relationship, starting over isn't easy. I think saying goodbye is hard. But I do, I do see that, you know, it's time. It is definitely, definitely, definitely time. You have another opportunity waiting for you. You've been impractical, though. You haven't been very practical. Because you've been letting this person take advantage of you. Whoever you are, whoever it is that you are dealing with that is blocking you from wish fulfillment is never going to change. So what are you waiting for? This person doesn't want to let go of you because you provide something for them. I think it's some sort of security to them. And it's like, I feel like it's financial security. That's it. So anyway, Aries, I feel like you need to make a decision to leave an emotionally disappointing situation behind. Stop letting this person lead you away from your own happiness. You have been led. You have been led by somebody that is a victim. Some this person sees themselves as a victim. They'll always be a victim and they it's like misery loves company. Come on, let's go. Let's go down misery lane. There's poor health here. This person has been taking advantage of you. I know that they have. Whoever you're dealing with has financial problems and, and, you know, it's like the minute you cut them off, then what? Anyhow, you, you know, this fourth chakra, fourth chakra is about self-love. It's time. It's time for you to manage your feelings. And accept and allow that something has ended. It's over. I mean, death comes before temperance. It feels like you're, this is a dead end. It's like you've, you've held on to something that, you know, has probably been over for a while. You need to find the self-discipline to change. Everything happens for a reason. So anyway, I think that help is arriving because you are being guided. You are going to be guided. You're going to be you're getting you you're going to be getting somebody's going to come in and they're going to guide you out of this situation if you could just see it. If you could see the see the opportunity. You're going to be given an opportunity for happiness. Whether you choose to ignore it or not is up to you. Good luck.